I think my mission is just working with people and helping them to see their potential, potentiality, uh, that everyone has the potential to be something more than who and what they are. If you can admit that you've been wrong about something, then that requires a change. And then you become open to how do I make that change? And you look for someone that can help you make that change. And that's why I do what I do, because I believe that I can make a difference in someone's life. I don't do it for gratitude. I don't do it for a pat on the back. I do it because it's simply the right thing to do. I believe in people. I grew up uh, in Atlanta in the 60s. It was just my mother and I. I would see my father every Sunday at church, and the man would never acknowledge me. And I grew up believing that I was a problem because I couldn't, ask, I couldn't formulate the right questions in my mind to even ask, so I couldn't verbalize uh, and get the answers that I needed. So I started to act out until ultimately uh, I ended up going to prison. And I, I came to the realization the last time when I was arrested I was facing a 10-year state and imposed sentence with a fresh 15. And the realization came to me that you weren't raised this way. You know, you're better than the things, that, not better than anyone else, but you're better than the situations you keep placing yourself in. And it was at that point when I started to take responsibility for self and accountability. And I also came to the realization that I never wanted to admit that I was wrong. And as long as I didn't admit that I was wrong, I didn't have to change anything. I just kept doing what I did. And you know, it got to the point where it was just totally unacceptable. I had grown up in a church and I figured that, you know, uh, if I'm gonna get back to something, I need to get back to my roots. So my current wife and I uh, started attending a, a church and the people were there in support of us. And it made the difference in my life uh, within that church body. Uh, I had a desire that I, I wanted to help people. The church also wanted to help people. and. When I was in jail, I told God that whatever it is you want me to do, I will do. And when our pastor made the statement that I want someone to start up a jail ministry, I sat there and shook my head saying, no, I don't want to go back into the prison system. It's kind of this reminder came back, you made a promise. And I said, okay, well, I might as well do it. So I started doing this program, the Christian Intervention Program. And we would go to the Huber Pods and bring people into the church. We had a curriculum, a 20-week curriculum. And during this time, we would uh, teach basic life principles, accountability skills for men and women. Uh, we would have a period of normalization after the class was over so that people could sit down with their family and have a decent meal and interact as human beings, not as uh, criminals, as they had been labeled. And then they, were, they went back. And... Uh, I felt a kinship to these individuals. And also I real, came to the realization early on that I took away the excuse because a lot of people will tell you, well, you don't know what it's like. Well, that's not true. I know what drug addiction is like, alcohol addiction, being in prison, theft. I know what all of those things and relationship issues are like. So I took away the excuse. And I also became a model that people could look at and say, okay, well, if, if James can do it, anyone, if definitely if I could do it, anyone could do it. There's nothing special about me. Uh, it's just that I got some direction in my life and it made a difference. So I tried to make that same difference in other people's lives. Well, individuals coming out of prison are aware of what their barriers are because they try to get away from them, they try to find the, the quick, easy fix. But uh, identifying what those barriers are and that what that quick fix has done for you in the past, you know, you've got a history and you can't, you know, you can deny everything that I say, but you cannot deny your own history. It is there, you know, and the, th the question becomes, how do you change that history? You cannot change it by modifying that negative behavior to less negative you know, because still, it's still negative. So you gotta find a positive uh, direction to go in and moves you 180 degrees from what you were doing to what you wanna do or where you wanna be. My belief in people, 
It's just that simple. I believe that uh, we're all deserving of more. I believe that we're all placed on this earth for a reason. I believe that we all have value. I believe that we all have uh, something that we can teach to someone if we're given the opportunity. And that's what people need more of these days, I think, more opportunity to, to make a difference and believe that they can. My faith is, is integral to my part of work. Um, my belief systems, what the Bible tells me uh, about how to be a decent, respectful, caring person, how to have values for things, you know, not tangible things because they are tangible. They're here today and gone tomorrow. But to have a value in people because that's the thing that has a real value on this earth. You know, uh, you can be rich and alone or you can be like me, poor and have a lot of friends because that's what I tend to care about people.